Hey guys, welcome to Digit, and this is going to be an overview of the Tenda F3 wireless N300 router. Now, as it mentions on the box, it's a wireless N300 router, which means it has a max speed of 300 Mbps on the Wi-Fi. That's not what you'll be getting uh, if you connect a lower grade connection to this particular device so often people confuse between what's mentioned on the box and the internet that you subscribe so if you're getting an 8 mps uh, internet line from your isp then using this router does not increase your speed however using this router will ensure that between two devices connected to the same network you get a higher amount of speed now that depends on the class of the device as well as the maximum throughput per stream which in most routers in the wireless n class it's going to be around 100 mbps but uh, you can also go up and it's very variable on the basis of how this router speaks to devices and negotiates so yeah, there's no clear answer on these things but uh, a simple rule of the thumb is the greater the number over here the better you're going to get uh, with regards to interconnectivity now this is the router, oh, this is the Tenda F3, the router that we are looking at and uh, you can see that it's a very slim profile, it's fairly thin off the top and on the sides as well. You can see that uh, we don't find any USB ports on any of the sides, so if you require a USB port then you'd want to opt for a different model from Tenda or any other manufacturer, it's up to you. On the back end side we see the ports and i don't know if the lighting is proper i'll just tilt it so this should be clearer so here you can see it has one LAN port and three LAN ports all of these happen to be 100 megabit ports as you can see the cabling on the inside tells you about that and uh, also the device is rated for as much then you have the power input socket and one multifunction switch for either WPS or RST that is reset. So if you were to use wireless protected setup, all you'd have to do is tap this for a few seconds or maybe it's just a single tap. You'll have to read the user manual to understand exactly how it functions. And then you can connect uh, your device to the router without actually using a password. But if you want to reset, then usually you have to keep it pressed for 10 seconds or longer and the device will reset. You'll have to use the default uh, user ID password. Speaking of which, the user ID password is usually mentioned on the bottom. Over here, you can see that uh, it has the default password of being admin. So that's what you'd use. Then the WPS pin is also mentioned. Sometimes the WPS pin itself is the password uh, on certain devices, but uh, or you just to use admin admin as the login details. And for logging into the device, the IP address mentioned is 192.168.0.1. Then there's certain additional information. You can see the MAC address and uh, the power configuration that this particular router uses. Lastly, you have plenty of ventilation holes on the bottom as well as on the sides to keep your router cool. Some of these things tend to heat up a lot uh, during operations, but uh, we don't know about this model in particular. And a good thing about convenience is that it has two mount holes. So you can place this on your wall and uh, space save space basically. Aside from that, the last thing that we want to see is uh, the indicators on the front you have a system indicator which tells you whether the router is powered on or off a wi-fi on off indicator three indicators for the lan ports one for the van port one for uh, d it's mentioned in the uh, instruction manual as to what this one does and lastly you have an indicator for wps that's the wireless protected setup that was it for a brief overview of the tenda f3 it's a wireless n300 <laughs>